Hello, everybody. My name is Zakia Ringgold. And tonight, um, today is like day one of the new normal. So I'm checking in to see how all of you are doing. I have some soap that I need to clean up. And I know um, some of you that are in live soap school are wondering, like, how do you get like really clean edges of your soap? So I was going to show you how I go about that process with this little tool that I got from a soap conference last year. And of course, I always tell you all, if you have never been here before, welcome. If you have been here before and you're just coming back, welcome, welcome, welcome back. I already hear the pop, pop, popping going on. So we have Laura checking in saying, hello, Zakia. Hi, everyone. Janet from Old Sage Apothecary, and how are you? Marlene, and my first all host. We're on like five different platforms, so it's hard to be first depending on how the internet gods do whatever it is that they want to do, but you're here. That's what matters. Latanya doing me and Smiling Jones saying, well, hello there, Zakia. Well, hello there to you too, my dear. Our volume's not working too well. Why can't I hear you too good right now? You know why? Microphone check one so one so. It's too far from the dog elf. Hold on. Now you'll be able to hear me better. So thank you for letting me know. Janet is doing well. Hopefully that fixes it. But for all of you that have joined us live, you always get the obligatory round of applause. That didn't work. I thought it was going to do it. Didn't do it. <laughs> Broadcast. Thank you for showing up. Yolanda is saying, good evening. Still couching it in Georgia. I wish I was couching it. Um, it's fine. I'll live. LOL. I know it. I'll live. I'll make it through this. Darn it. We will make it through it. Elin has no sound. So if you have no sound, put a one. If you can't hear me, put in a one. If you can hear me, put in a two. But I'm imagining that some of you can hear me because Marlene said, oh, I wasn't first. That's cool. Um, if you are having a problem hearing me, what I would say is come out of the broadcast, then come back into the broadcast. That should fix it for you. What's a little crooked? That's not, that's not good marketing. Um, so if you are having problems, Janet can hear me. So I'm thinking that it's probably internet connection. Very low. Turn my gain up. My microphone. Hold on, guys. Bam. What's the volume at? I can hear you, but it's low. Bring the microphone over. How about now? Do you have a detox bath bomb? Mitch, I don't have... I haven't made bath bombs in almost six months. Um... YouTube sound is good. Facebook sound very low. Facebook over there tripping. Let's go ahead and give you some shade with the Facebook. Hold on. I'm going to hold on. I'm trying to show Facebook. I want you to see this. Somebody on YouTube is calling you out saying that your sound is sucking. Well, it's good now because my mouth is like right there on the microphone. That's horrible ASMR. It's cold in California. High desert. Well, hello, Amanda. Um, so if any of you are new, you got to let me know by putting in a number one. If you have been here before, put in a number two so I can welcome you back to Soap Nation. Um, like I said at the beginning of this video, what we are going to be doing is cutting down the soap so that we get like really clean bars that are going out. Everyone who has placed an order, they all went out today. And then you know what happened? Some of you opened up my email and said, oh, I'm going to go ahead and place an order. So your order will go out tomorrow if you placed an order today. No, I didn't unplug the mic. Forgot my earbuds were on. Seniors with cell phones. That's me. Wow, this is cool. How you broadcast now? I've been broad... Listen, I keep telling you guys I am the gadget girl. If there is a way to figure it out with technology... I don't really care like what the finished product is. It's just the fact that I'm actually using it. Um, that's exciting. But I am multi-streaming right now. So depending on if you're watching on Twitter, Periscope, Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, or Mixer. So I'm on six platforms. And on Facebook, I'm on 
Zakia Ringgold, Natural Soap by Zakia, and Live Soap School. Because I can't get everybody into one space. So you guys are making me put out all of my little arms wherever you are. But no worries. I'll come to you. You don't have to come to me. I will go where you want to see me, which is fine. I have no problem with that. Um, This is cool. Okay, so I answered that question. So I had showed you guys this when I first came back from the conference. I do still use it. There is a special going on right now, guys, where you get all three bars of soap. You get the lemongrass, which is scented with lemongrass essential oil. You get the classically clean, which kind of smells like the unmentionable Irish spring, but it's better than that for your skin. And then there's also the tea tree and charcoal. You get all three bars for 20 bucks, which saves you um, $7. Um, you are like an octopus. Yes, Ollie, with all of my hands, with all of my hands. So I keep these here. You guys won't be able to see them, but that's okay. It's more important for you to see this process. And, um, I'm hoping that right now, a lot of times we're seeing that we don't necessarily get to continue to just waste stuff. Um, and with soap making, aside from it being a very natural product, a reusable product, great for the earth, great for your skin. But even the pieces that I'm going to get off of here do not go in the trash. They become what's known as a confetti soap. So I've already done a little bit. Here, let me see. I might have to switch you guys to a different camera. Wow, your hair grew so fast. It's the juices and berries. And I got one gray streak that just grows and grows. It does not matter. Can't tell you and Nyla apart anymore. I know, and she's right here. I told her, don't get too high because I still have my stick. So let me show you guys this one here. I'm hoping it'll come up. Come here, let's switch you. Ugh. Ugh. No, that's a horrible angle. I don't know how to do it, Carol Ann. But we end up with like these little shriv shrivels of the soap. It kind of looks like cheese almost, right? And so what we do with that is once I get a container this size, I then turn around and I make a confetti soap, which is pretty cool. And I got some soap all over my laptop, but it's clean. Get it? Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Soap on the laptop is now clean. You might, you might not have got it. It's an inside joke or maybe not inside. It was just not that interesting. So what we do with this, um, this has a very sharp edge on here. If you, and you probably can't see it, but sometimes when they come out of the mold, there's like some jagged edges on the soap. This will give you, um, an opportunity to get them all even and consistent around. Hey, Zakia, looks like fun. Al Tobis, you got a super size package. Uh, when the mailman came and picked it up, he said, you sell soap? I said, yes. And because he was the mailman, I gave him a liquid soap because he could smell it through the box, which was pretty cool. Um, man, you have just been a busy little bee with these live chats every night. You are very welcome. Soap maker humor is what it is. You got to get used to it or not. All right. So what we do is we take our bar of soap. We put a little bit of elbow grease on there, not too much. And honestly, it should only take me six seconds. We have tried this before. It never takes me six seconds because I run my mouth. I talk to all of you on this broadcast. And um, I kind of forget which side I've already done it to. And then what ends up happening is... I forgot a side. I'm excited. Me too. Thank you so much for the orders. And so now what we get is on each of the sides, there's nothing like jagged and pointing. So as I do these with the bars, I'll have enough for the orders that came in today and I will have those ready to ship out tomorrow. And so what I'm trying to find out, um, how all of you are coping right now? Like today was like day one. Like we've been in this for a little while, but things are shutting down left, right, and center. And I'm kind of wondering and kind of curious, have you noticed any difference in your behavior aside from not going outside? 
Have you noticed any of those changes or have you done any of those recommended changes? Or has everything kind of remained the same? Alcibi says she's excited. Yes, I have been very, very busy suds. Um, and so I also do both of the sides because they were looking a little janky as well. And so I'm trying to figure out like, how can I make it a little more fun in the house? I don't want to just Netflix and chill um, if I'm not working. And so I'm trying to figure out what are some activities. There's board games that we could do. Um, cooking. Trying to figure. My mom put a post up. My mom puts up some. It's like, oh, day one. Okay, you guys are telling me. Day one, I went to the park with my girls to play tennis. Well, I didn't play, but I cheered them on. And then Janet says, my day job is software and can't, or is that social work? And can't see my patients. It must be social work. Yeah, I, that has to be tough. All right, you guys can't see, but we're getting these shriver, shrivels of the soap here. And so what I'll do is I'll put that in my little container. And once I get two containers of this full, then I can do my confetti soup. I'm going to try and cut down all of the lemongrass tonight, as well as the classically clean, which should be fun. And then if I can get to the tea tree, that'll be good. Um, and I, I've always had the ability to work from home, not every day, but typically two days out of the week, I would work from home, but it's a little bit different because the kids would be in school. And so I didn't have to worry about like the noise levels. If I was on the middle of a conference call, we did a really exciting project at work today. Um, although it shouldn't have been novel, but it was. We took a planned vacation this week. So what did I say? going to soap and create that's the best thing that you can do like i'm trying to make sure that all these orders get out because i don't know how long the post office is going to ship and so as soon as they say they can't ship anymore there you go i've got a huge sponsor package in from baraka shea butter today that will probably be an unboxing on wednesday or thursday but I got a huge container of coconut oil, a huge container of palm oil. Um, I want to say shea butter and there's one more, but I haven't opened it. I just know what's in there. That part, LOL. The girls were playing music in four different languages today. I was trying to keep up. Listen, you know what, um, you know, what'll make you feel like a producer or a music producer garage band. Garage band makes me feel like I'm a DJ. Like somebody needs to just pay me for my soundtracks, man. <laughs> somebody needs to pay me for my soundtracks. Um, but what we did today was a virtual coaching session for people to be able to work remotely. Um, most of the people who are not seeing patients at the hospital now are working remotely where they didn't do it before. For me, everything was pretty much the same. I work in a hospital, so no time off for me. I do too. So you must be, look at how big that comment is. Let's put you over my face right there. Um, I work in a hospital, so no time off. There was a big difference in my commute this morning with schools being closed and folks staying home. I'm my grandparents' full-time caregiver, so I need to be super careful for their sake. Had my guitar lesson tonight. Elin, are you like a great guitar player or you're new? Are you a novice? Like, how is that going? How is that going for you? And see, this is why I can't do this live. Because I forget what sides I actually shave. By the time I'm done, there won't be any soap left on this bar. There won't be any soap left. Now, I don't know if there's a delay from when I say something to when you guys post it. But it looks like there's a little bit of a delay. A, a sort of a delay. But 
today was pretty good. It was different. Um, we put it together in less than an hour and a half. And we had over 75 people registered within a matter of, an, what, an hour. We sent out the email with some dates, which was pretty cool. And today was the first one. So I was proud of that. Our team came together, which was very cool. My brother says, I've been learning guitar since I was a teenager. Ha! <laughs> Just getting serious about it now. Well, no time like the present. Isn't that what they say? If you can't do it, then do it now. Couldn't do it yesterday, do it today. All that fun stuff. So that's pretty much it, guys. And so if you're curious what this is doing, if you're just coming on, because I see the numbers just jumped again. Um, we're trying to clean these bars up and then also at the same time get the shavings so that we can make another batch of soap with it. Do I have any more lemongrass? Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Did I miss any other comments? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. All right, so we're going to get these done. And all of you that are rocking out with me, you're pretty cool. You're keeping me company. The girls have just abandoned me. They've abandoned me like, nah, mom. Not into it. I'm just not that into you. So it was a normal day. You guys haven't noticed any changes. I know Yolanda says she was hanging out on the couch. Bam. And bam. And then we end up smooth. I don't do the front or the back. Smooth. Smooth, kind of. Maybe not. Whatevs. All right, so we'll get all of these lemongrass done. And I'll, now I'm going to try and do it in six seconds. Because I have been able to do it in six seconds before. And the idea is it's one second per side of the bar. So after this one, when I'm not kind of talking and peeking up at your comments, I'm going to see if we can make it do what it do. All right. Sorry about hitting the mic. Will you put the confetti soap in melt and pour? No, I'm going to put it in cold process. Um, it'll be a white base and then the colors from the soap. So it'll be yellow, green, blue, white, and a little bit of black speckles in there. Kind of like a party in the soap. And you don't have to scent it. Well, depends. I'll see when I mix it. Most of the day here in Philly was like a ghost town. So quiet and not a lot of people. Yeah, I refuse to go outside. I'm that one. I, I'm not going to the stove. I'm not doing any of it. I'm staying myself right in the house. But yeah, I can imagine. I Well, that's kind of good to hear. The fewer people moving, hopefully it'll slow down, right? Hopefully it will slow it down. Hey, Valerie, how are you? About how much money does it take to start making soap? That really, really depends. Um, and the reason that depends is what you are going to be doing with it. Are you making it just for your home? If that's the case, you can probably get started for less than 100 bucks. If you're doing it to start a business, then you're going to want to buy in bulk. But you don't buy in bulk until you know that your recipes are going to work because the higher the quantity that you buy your oils and your butters in, the lower your cost of production becomes. Hey, good night, Erica. Um, so it really depends on if you're making it for your family at home. It takes coconut oil, olive oil, lye and water. You can even do 100% coconut oil. You can stir it up with a spatula. I wouldn't recommend that. I wouldn't recommend that you'll be there for quite some time, but it can be done. Um, or you can use a stick blender. You need a scale. That's one of the most important things you're going to need. And also a thermometer so you can know what your temperatures are when you're making soap. 
Um, but that's like the baseline. Like no color, no scent, no additives, just a simple oil with a live solution and you can make yourself some soap. The problem is it may not be the best bar of soap ever because every oil has different properties that it gives to the soap. And so like, let's say you did do a 100% coconut oil soap. That could be really drying to the skin or if you adjust it, it can be a pretty good bar. But typically you'll have three, some people have 10 butters, which is really outrageous. Some people will have like 10 ingredients in their soap, which is kind of backwards because most of them are going to cancel each other out. They're given the same properties to it's label candy. Claire, greetings, Zakia. How are you from Toronto, Canada? Well, hello there. I'm doing pretty good. I am doing pretty good. Tonight we are trying to get all of the lemongrass and tea tree and the classically clean done so I can update the inventory for how many of these sets I have. And then we're gonna fill the orders for the people who order today. But thanks for joining me live. Thank you for joining me live. We are getting very, very high over there on the YouTube side in terms of our watch time and our subscribers. We jumped over 700 subscribers in the last two months on YouTube, which is pretty cool. And so by me going live on here, it allows me to help those. So by you guys watching on YouTube, you're actually helping me out because I need, I think about a thousand more minutes, a thousand minutes more of watch time and we'll be cooking with gas. And so if you, I, I don't think we've done a six second bar yet. I keep on running my gabs. Also, Hobie says saying, congratulations, Akia. Thank you, Also Beast. All right, so let's, now this is the test bar. Can we clean all of the sides in six seconds? What is the name of that item you are using? I call it a soap shredder. I'll look in the program book from the um, soap conference last year to see, I think it was like Lilo soap carving tools. But even if you don't have this, you can use a potato peeler. Potato peeler would probably be faster because you just like, psh, psh, psh. here I'm trying to line it up and all that other stuff. And let's see what you're saying. Congrats. I love to watch you work. It is so fun. Um, I'll go over to YouTube. Head on over to YouTube, Ali. I will warn you, YouTube is not the same in terms of the interaction and the engagement that we're used to on the other live streaming platforms, which is why I kind of talk to the people on the other ones and say, oh, so-and-so said, because the people on YouTube don't talk. They just kind of watch. Um, whereas that's not where we come from in the live streaming world. We kind of talk throughout the broadcast. Some people who watch, they're like, can you get to the point? This is not Twitter. We don't want to hear you running, bumping your gums all that time. Just get to it. But, you know. That ain't how we roll. Um, let's see. You can do it. Six. See, Marlene is always like that cheerleader. Like, go, go for it, girl. Go for it. I got you. Just got your notification. Running the bases. Thank you, you for sight. All right. So let's see. All right. We got to get this one done because that would be cheating. And then we're gonna really try it for six seconds. Not now, no. That one is a little more beat up than I thought it was gonna be. Put a little elbow grease. A little elbow grease helps it out. All right. Bam. All right. This is a six second test. Nobody put in a comment because then I'm going to hear the pop. Then I'm going to look up. Then we're going to be off and all that other stuff. All right. Here we go. So five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. One. Oh, it's my flip of the wrist. I see where I'm slowing down, guys. My flip isn't, it's not there yet. You know how when you're whipping your soap, you got a certain thing that you do with your wrist where you're like, oh, you got a thing down. I think that was about seven seconds, maybe eight. It might've been eight seconds. 
but there is a science to it. Oh, hold on, guys. Here, let me give you a video. One second, I come in. Josh. We're back, guys. All right. So, um, Marlene counted. We were at seven seconds. All right. So, let's finish these. Finish them. Let me see. I'll do it again. All right, we're gonna try. We're gonna try this one more time, and see if we can get it to go. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Well, I guess that's not really counting the seconds if I'm just saying one, two. But it's about six seconds. Could be faster if I did it faster, but I guess. This could be also very therapeutic, a little mindfulness, light a candle, and get to scraping. Scrapey, scrape, scrape. We got three more of the lemongrass ones. That had something on the outside. It was a piece of the soap. Almost. The problem is, I'm a, not necessarily, I wouldn't say a perfectionist, but like after you do it and you look at it, you'll notice that they're still like, oh, that could be a little bit better on that side. So I try to fix it. There we go. Last two of the lemongrass anyway. That soap kind of looks like, can't see it, April, or ape. Kind of looks like the ocean. It has um something like, you can, you can see it when I put my hand over it. It has um, what we call a micaline in there. Hey, Cresha, how are you? It has, mm, here, duh, let's switch cameras. Bam. Can you got Go to that camera. Soap cam, right there. So it has like a, a mica line in there that's separating the yellow from the green. And the thing behind that, or the reason I, um, can't see it, I got the comment. What I was trying to do with this one was the idea of lemon being yellow and grass being green, and then having like a little line of demarcation. That was the idea behind that one. Cresha, it is so good to see you live. I'm hoping all is well with you during all this craziness. Um, and so you guys are kind of like hanging out, keeping me company, which I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Okay, last lemongrass. Last lemongrass. See, I got bars for days. I got lyrical bars. I have soap bars. Not really. Like, I got one-liners. Don't ask me to do an eight-track because it's not going to come out well. Not going to work out so well. All right, and now you'll be able to see what those soap shavings end up looking like. So, right at the bottom, you can kind of see there is a line in there. That is where 
the shavings come out. And then what I do is I take that, I put it in my little measuring cup. And then I'll move on to the um, classically clean. There's not that many bars of that. So that's why it's important for me to do this because I can't oversell the triple set that I have. How much is the soap? Hi, girl. We good. How are you? Doing well. Making soap is great. Absolutely. Especially now. Who knew how great it would be to be a soap maker at a time such as this? So somebody said, how much is it? I am currently running several specials on the website, which is naturalsoapbyzakia.com, where you can get a three pack of these three bars which um, these were the three that I sold out of all of the bars I took with me to an employee event. So this comes with a uh, tea tree and charcoal. This one also comes with a lemongrass. And then it also comes with the classically clean bar. All of them are 100% plant-based. You get all three for $20. I am running a special where if you order... $27 worth of soap. You can use the code, lo code LOVE2020 and that'll take $7 off of your order. Hey, Bonita, how are you? I was shopping for aloe vera lotion and wondered if you make one. You know what? I think I will make an aloe vera lotion. I have about eight aloe vera leaves. Um, I made um, aloe vera in our hand cleanser. It's not a hand sanitizer, it's a cleanser. Um, but I think I can replace a portion of my water content in the lotion with aloe vera. I'm gonna try it. So I'm probably gonna to have to adjust my preservative because I don't know how that's gonna impact. Maybe you shouldn't, I don't know. I gotta do some, that's a fantastic deal. And these bars are not like your typical bars of soap that you get in a store. The soap that you buy in a store typically has all of the glycerin pulled out, which is why it can be very drying to the skin. Even the one that sounds like glove, that some of you come up to me and tell me this is the only one that I could use. Lies and deception. The fact that so many people say that thing tells you is marketing. They did an excellent job marketing. Um, I need that black soap to even my skin tone. It, hey, Kim, how are you? Good to see you. Teal is checking in saying, hey, everyone. So um, that's one of the specials I have for all of my ladies. Somebody just mentioned their skin tone. You have got to, got to, got to try my triple clay face mask kit. It comes with an applicator bowl. It's a wooden bowl and then the triple clay, and then it also has an herbal oil infusion that activates the clay mass, and then you also get an applicator brush with it. This is only $29. Um, I love that question, Tony. Um, I miss you too. I'm so glad to see you. I don't know if you were going to the um, Madam C.J. Walker luncheon, but they recently canceled that one, unfortunately, so I won't be able to see you. Um, I don't have a soap with aloe vera. You guys are all up in the aloe vera, which is absolutely good to know. And maybe that will be the broadcast we do this week. We'll make an aloe vera soap and we'll make an aloe vera lotion. And I think, did you guys see how we cut this one? This bar is beat up. It's missing a piece. It's missing a piece. And then we just rub a dub dub all down the side. Your soap is hardy. Um, it just it doesn't just dissolve when it's in the water like it hits the glove soap. Exact like the glove soap. It doesn't do that. And a reason for that is the curing period, guys. So a lot of times you'll say, like when I'm making the soap, you're like, I want to order it. I want to order it now. I have to allow the soap to cure so that all of the excess water gets out of the bar. Once it gets out of the bar, then you have a rock hard. Did you guys hear that? You have a rock hard bar that lasts a lot longer. 
Um, and it's better for the skin. So it's like a win-win. You hear that bar? It's better for the skin. So it's like a win-win. It's better for the skin. So it's like a win-win. Um, why aren't you making hand sanitizer? Aleo, avocado, and coconut milk. Oh, aloe. Should be nice. Oh, it should be. I like that. Did you just give me a formula? I'll take it. I'll take it. Um, so why am I not making hand sanitizer? Very good question. And it has to do with the rules of the road and what the FDA says we are and are not allowed to do. A hand sanitizer is making a claim that it is doing something. And in order for you as a handcrafted soap artisan to be able to make those similar claims, you have to have it tested and proven to do those things. So you are not able to say, even though you may have all of those ingredients, you do not fall under the category of being able to formulate a drug, an over-the-counter drug. So that's how that works out. The website is Natural Soap by Zakia. I should have, can you eat me? No, thank you. Um, let me see if I have, let me see, boom. I don't have my website on there. What, Jashika, you came back. That means I didn't destroy our relationship the first time. I'm so glad to have you here. Um, thanks for coming back. That's pretty cool. I'm putting the website up now. I thought I had it queued up and ready to go. I got those videos queued up. You know, have your website ready to go? Bam. That would be my website. You can go there and order the soap. Um, call it waterless hand cleanser. It is a rinse free hand cleanser. That's what we call it. Um, it is made with alcohol peroxide and aloe vera gel and a hint of glycerin for an extra mm on the skin and we are running a special with that too where you can get a bottle of our liquid gold also known as liquid soap this is our foaming hand soap and it comes with a travel size hand cleanser and you get both of those bam that's it not nakia that probably was spell check. That probably was spell check. But yes, you got it with a Z instead of the N. A Z instead of the N. And so, well, hello there, Big Duke. I guess you're about to tell me something about those folks over there in Baltimore. Um, Good to see you. You know, somebody said, you know what your catch, somebody told me my catchphrase and I didn't realize it until I watched several videos and listened to a couple of my podcasts. I constantly say, well, hello there. And the fact that Big Duke put that up there tells me that that might be true. That might be very, 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 very true. All right, let me see. Well, good to have you here. All right, so we got... Side that was missing. Looked like it could be a little better. Oh, we're getting a little. I don't think I have the right amount. <laughs> I have more of the lemongrass than I do of the classically clean, which means those triple packs. I'm going to have to update the inventory for that because it's not right, it's not accurate. And the worst thing you can do is oversell something. Because then you got to refund people's money. And they're like, you lied to me. You told me a story. I thought I was going to have it. And now I don't have it. No good. No good, no good. And now, the nice thing about this, we are going to end up with the confetti for the soap. And I think the color combination is going to be really nice. And... That'll probably, it can't be our DIY Thursday. Or well, maybe. That'll probably be our DIY Thursday broadcast. I'm telling you now. What's up, queen? How are you doing? Sharon, good to see you. How are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. 
You guys are hanging out late tonight on Periscope. I appreciate it. Raymond is saying, hello. You're a wonderful and intelligent. I'm going to take that compliment and say why thank you. Thanks for joining. And I'm hoping that you are doing well. I'm not sure Baltimore has its own lady. At least one as talented as you. Everybody loves Z in Baltimore. Um, I'm sure there's plenty. There's plenty. But I'll take that. You guys are full of compliments. You're going to have my head like this by the time I go to bed. Like right now, it's like this. But by the time I go to bed after this broadcast, it's going to be like this. I'm getting better now. Recovering from the flu. Oh, dear God. Were you able to get any medical help? Or were you just at home dosing? Guys, we'll be starting our garden soon. I agree wholeheartedly. Thanks, John. Is that you for sight? Yep. That's you for sight. Um, were you a Sharon, were you able to get medical attention or did you like self-medicate at home? I'm curious. My neighbor, um, her husband came over today. I heard him, like, I have awesome, awesome neighbors. And typically, um, he's older, like maybe in his early 70s. And his exercise on trash day is he'll come across the street and he'll pull my trash can up into my yard. So I heard it rolling. So I knew it was him. And I grabbed two bottles of the liquid soap, ran outside and gave it to him. He was like, stay far away. I was like, oh no, I'll put it right here. You can, you can grab it from here. But he was so grateful. And then his wife, um, she called me maybe about two hours later. She said, you must have some excellent surfactants in your soap. It was phenomenal. Thank you so much. She had just, ha I, I say all that to say, she just had hip replacement surgery on March the 5th. And she said her surgeon called her, you know how they do the follow-up visits, and said her timing was perfect because they had canceled all elective surgeries until the end of April. So I'm hoping that you were able to get there. Kita, Kita, cousin, how are you? Kita, you have to go and check out the new website, livesoapschool.com. You are on the homepage when we were making our soap side by side. You guys don't know, Kita is my cousin, also like one of my number one cheerleaders or the number one, not one of, the number one cheerleader. The doctor emailed me the medication to go and buy. Jashika is saying, I tried to sign up for your classes, but couldn't figure it out. Okay, um, send me an email. I'll, I'll walk you through the process after we get all of this done. I will walk you through it. I will. I'll pull up the site and show you where to go. If you guys are wondering, I do have online soap making classes. Um, online business technology classes will be launching um, April the 1st. So if you are thinking about starting your own business and leveraging online technology, I've got five years of figuring it out. And I also have a background in instructional design. So I've created that into a course for you to be able to figure it out especially now. Do it now, not tomorrow. Do it now. You've got time. What I will do. So I'm telling you, you're right on the homepage where we were doing our in the pot swirl side by side. The video is up there and then your picture is up there. Standing right here. I don't know if you guys remember when cousin was here from California, whenever she comes, She'll either put on her goggles or her sunglasses and step into the soap studio. And she helped me with making a batch like this. We were making Classically Clean. I might sign up for the soap making class just for fun. I'm telling you, it is such a rewarding thing to do. Not even for like the business side. When I first got started making soap, it had nothing to do with having a business. Um, it was very, very therapeutic for me in a way that I got a chance to express my own creativity while at the same time creating something that I use every single day. Um, that's powerful. 
That's extremely powerful to be able to use something every single morning that you have formulated and to see it lather up is like, you made that. Go ahead, girl. I see what you did there. That's what it's like. Oh no, I'm famous. You're soap lady famous. <laughs> Nyla told me, mom, don't take it to your head. You're just soap lady famous. You're not like a superstar, superstar. I said, well, dang. She was like, but you're our superstar. And I said, don't try and clean it up now. Don't try and clean it up now. I remember when cousin was live with you. See, you are. People remember when you were here, Kita. I'll be at work at 1030, so I'll email tomorrow. Thanks, dog. You are very welcome. What can I say except you're welcome? All right. So, ooh, this blue and white is gorgeous. Ooh, I think I want to just do one just with the blue and white. But I think the pop of the yellow with this will be phenomenal. You guys can't see it. You guys can't see it. I don't know why I'm trying to hold it up like you can see it. It just looks like a ball of white. All right, so we've gotten almost about a cup full. If you guys weren't live, I would just do this. Scrape it on the floor. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to scrape it on the other side of the table. That's what I want to do. All right. Now, the last one we have to do is the tea tree. Now, you could wipe it off in between. I'm not going to do that. Get another piece of parchment paper. Another piece of parchment paper. Who do we have here? The numbers just jumped again. What are you making? So we're not making anything right now. What we're doing is, um, hey, Josh, you gotta stop playing. Um, what we're doing is we are shaving off the excess soap from the bars so that we have very clean bars and it's very easy for me to wrap it up. And then when people open it, there's no jagged edges on the side. And so what we then do if for all of you latecomers, newbies, or those that just weren't here at the start of the broadcast, we take the bars. All of these have been cured. This is my activated charcoal and tea tree soap, guys. It is getting this beautiful black color, not from any kind of colorant, but from activated charcoal. Activated charcoal naturally pulls toxins from the skin, and then the tea tree is antifungal, antibacterial. So if you got some of those grimy teenagers or that skin that just won't quit, this is the bar for you. And it comes in a three pack where you get the lemongrass, the classically clean, and the tea tree. All three plus one a dollars, which is a huge steal and a great savings. And it's just my part. Much love, much respect right back to ya. You for sight, are you checking out? You gotta tell me more about that other platform. Starts with a B, I believe. I think I've heard about four people tell me, you need to get on this one. Listen, Linda. I'm on about five social media platforms. Still trying to figure out TikTok. I'm like the old... I told you guys on another broadcast, I feel like the grandma that asks the kid how to use a VCR remote control trying to figure out that dag on TikTok. I'm like, I'm not messing with this stuff. I'm not going to do it. But then it's like, you got to. You have to. You got to be everywhere. Don't believe the hype. You don't have to be everywhere. But I think for my purposes and the fact that I love including music and music is encouraged on TikTok, I think I would do very well in terms of having fun on that particular platform. It's not family friend. Oh, okay. So I'll stick away from that one. So spend my time figuring out TikTok, even though that's not family friendly. There's a very popular R&B artist that refuses to keep her clothes on. And I mean, she was twerking, twerking, twerking it out. I'm like, girl, you ain't got to do all that. I'm okay, TikTok, but I haven't made a TikTok yet. I'm too nervous. Yeah, I don't want to embarrass myself. I can embarrass, and look, as I say that, 
you've got a notification. Somebody just posted something on TikTok. Who knows who it was? Um, I know Kevin Hart, when he when he first started on TikTok, he just kept saying, I'm doing a TikTok. I'm doing a TikTok. You want to be in my TikTok? He was just going through, and then that became popular. I just shared this broadcast on my Facebook. Well, if you're watching from Sharon's Share, welcome to the broadcast. Sharon, you're cool for letting your folks know. I appreciate it. And hopefully... They will come over to, if you shared it on Facebook, come over on Live Soap School. If you watch on Live Soap School, I'll be able to see your comments. I typically can't see your comments from a share, but I appreciate the share because it counts as a view. And Facebook says, oh, oh, oh well, no. You oh, you on, you're on Facebook. So yeah, that'll work. Um, where Periscope messed up. Periscope was one of the first live streaming platforms. And what they did to their dismay is they started letting broadcasters share their broadcast out to Facebook. And at the time, you could only live stream on Periscope. And it was taking eyeballs off of Facebook. And then Facebook said, oh, we better give these people live streaming because we can't have them going somewhere else. And as soon as Facebook made live streaming available, the Periscope platform kind of went, now you got a whole bunch of nonsense on there too. Nonsense everywhere. I'm your Periscope fan under the name Miss Pokey. Well, I'm so glad you found me on Facebook. I know exactly who you are. See, when I see your Periscope names, I'm like, oh yeah, I know you. But um, yeah, that's how that's how Periscope messed it up. Yeah, I I still love Periscope. I absolutely, positively love Periscope. But you know, um, you for sight is telling me I should break dance. I don't get some of the new apps. Hold on, let me see what you're saying. I don't get some of the new apps. They make me feel like the old man at the disco trying to break dance. Oh, now I see how those two go together. And then APR861 says, I think I found you, Perry, originally over three years ago, maybe five. That's probably when. Um, I started live streaming on Periscope in October of 2015. I watched a lot of Periscopes. Um, I would say for about five or six months because I was just very, very amazed by the technology. Like you could pick, like it's not cool now. Like it's not like a thing thing now. But then there was no other way that you can go from your cell phone, click a button and go live to the world. And so I would roll over in my bed and turn on Periscope. Turn it on. And I would be in Egypt. I would be in Australia. When I was in Egypt, I was looking at the pyramids. I was talking to a man who spoke English, but spoke Arabic as well. So he would tell us all about the history of the pyramids. Um, then we were in Australia. There was a chocolate factory. And then I was so interested in all of the online technology and there were experts in every single field um, on Periscope at the time. That's how I learned how to write a book. That's how I learned how to build websites. That's how I learned that you could sell a product online all from Periscope. I'm Ali on Face, Ali. You should have said, don't call me APR. I would have known. As soon as you said Ali, I knew exactly who you are. So we have built a really awesome tribe in Soap Nation in terms of people who have been along on this journey from, I would say, almost day one. We get some new people that join and never leave. I never want you to go anywhere. Hello, Jamil. How are you? Did you enjoy your, did you have, how many of you had off today? I'm talking about a new normal, just assuming that you had off. Um, let me know. See you later, Jashika. I know you got to get up early. But if you have to work or you went into work, put in a one. Um, or say, working, working, working day, night. Or if you were home, if you self-quarantined, 
um, and you're not expected to go into work, put in a number two. I'm just curious. I'm just curious how that breaks down across. Haha, <laughs> it's okay. Well, you are helping out over there on the YouTube side, my dear. You are helping out. I know it's lonely because it's like nobody's talking over here. It's just me. We're going to change that behavior on YouTube. We're going to change it. That's my personal mission in life. We're going to get you guys to start interacting on live streams. It's kind of important. You don't work at all. Okay. Understood. Well, then you were home. So what do you do? Like, what are some things that you are doing to keep yourself occupied? I'm reading a lot. A whole lot. Never. You are stuck with me. It was my normal work day. Our schools are out until April the 6th. But what about you? Are you out until April the 6th? I thought you had little feet. I could have swore you were Paige just now. That's what it sounded like. Can you get me a brown water? I'm so thirsty. Pepsi. Nyla is trying to get me to drink so much water. I call my Pepsi brown water to trick her. It doesn't work, but she still gets it. I went to the pharmacy to pick up grandparents' medication. Oh, you're a caregiver. That's right. And food. How was it? Ooh, yeah. Sewing and reading. I had. Can you open it for me? Um, I had taken a sewing class. But I didn't stick with it long enough. I know how to thread the needle and do it and the bobbin. Now it's laughing at me. I know how to do all that stuff, but I'd like to be able to read patterns. Did you break your nail? Or it pulled? Yeah. Thank you. You wanna say hi to the folks? Come say hi to the folks. If you guys don't know, Nyla is my oldest daughter. Oh, you are getting tall. Yo, maybe you're just shrinking. And we have matching ponytails. Matching ponytails. You going to say hi? Hi, guys. I'm Nyla. Are you dancing? No, I'm trying to oh. get that. You know the string? Can you fix that? Or it's on the other side. What is that? Oh, it is. It's just like attached to the little guy's wrist. So Nyla is the oldest. She I'm used to love me. being on the broadcast with me. Then she got to be about 13 and was like, nah, mom, I'm done with that. Hi. Taller. No, she's not taller than me yet. But Why she's are you No, she's up. not taller than I'm me yet. I'm straight. Oh, take it. Whatever. Hi, not Keena said hey. Oh, Hi. Oh, hi. I was wearing my baby earrings yesterday, but I'm not wearing them today. Can you tell the folks about baby earrings? Um, yeah, they're these one-inch babies on earrings. <laughs> if that doesn't explain it. And then you gave them out to people. We gotta yeah. go to her school tomorrow. Yeah, and school, like, online school starts tomorrow at 10, too. So. All of your teachers have been emailing me, like, CC, mom. Your theology teacher. Oh, Mr. O'Leary and Stanton. Mm -hmm. They're very, yeah, they emailed me a lot too. And she's like, along with daily assignments, we'll also have weekly. I'm like, we don't get this much work in school. <laughs> They're trying to make it work the while. Like, like these parents paying tuition. Do you use lie? I'm your soap or all, oh, in your soap or all natural. Nyla, can you answer that question? Let's see if I've taught you well. I got it. Well, for it to be soap, there has to be lie in it or else it's not soap. So. Right. Because oil oh, and water. Oh, this is a microphone. I'm like kind of crunching Yeah, you got the things going on in there. Oil and water don't mix. But there is no lie in the finished product. You have made me proud by being able to answer that question. Okay, good night. Good night. Thank you for getting my soda. Uh-oh. But yes, Daisy, I do use lye because I do make the soap 100% from scratch. The only time you don't have to use lye is if you are making a melt and pour batch of soap. Lopez Sally, how are you? Um, Martha said we look like sisters. And Lopez is saying, hey, hey, hey. Aww. And I think, guys, 
I don't think we've gotten all of the tea tree. I just got to have enough. And for all of you late comers, we are cleaning up our bars of soap so that we can ship out the triple packs that we have for special right now on the website. Paige is knocked out sleep. She wants to do an unboxing broadcast. Tomorrow is going to be very interesting. She got a toy and she wants to do an unboxing for her live stream. I said, you don't have a channel. She said, I have a YouTube channel. So Paige will probably do an unboxing tomorrow. Okay. Almost there, guys. Hey, Chantel, good to see you. And Daisy, I hope I answered your question or it was clear when um, Nyla did. How you hanging over there? Pretty good, I'm hoping. All right, I have gotten to the 1130 mark, which means I need to layer down because I need to be up because I'm working from home tomorrow. So I hope you all have enjoyed yet another broadcast on how I go from making the soap to then shredding it down so that we have really, really clean bars. It's great to have you here, Chantel. And then we got our soap shavings once again. And these you can clearly see because they have that beautiful shade of gray. Hopefully you can see that. Yes. Um, I don't sell hand sanitizer. I only sell a liquid foaming hand soap, which comes with a no rinse hand cleanser that's made with alcohol, aloe vera gel, glycerin, and peroxide. Your liquid soap, is it a body soap? It could be, but this one, I'll show you guys the consistency of it, but I don't have my, hold on. Sorry guys, I had muted you for a second. Do you want me to put water in there? Yeah, I need water in there. Like halfway full. And then the liquid soap like this one on the sink. Bring that in here in a paper towel, please. I had muted you guys. Yeah, I'm sorry about the sound. I had yelled for Nyla to come and help me by getting the bowl of water, but I forgot to take the mute off. New to your site. I'm so excited to have you. She's new. Daisy's new. Daisy's new. What? Daisy's new. Daisy, that's the welcome. That's the welcome dance. Welcome to the broadcast. We'd like to formally welcome you into Soap Nation. I am your chief bottle washer and lather in chief, Zakia Ringold of Natural Soap by Zakia.com, as well as LiveSoapSchool.com. Erica is checking in saying, hey, hey, y'all. Well, hello there, Erica. How you doing over there? All right, let me move this out of the way. Oh, you gonna give me some cold water? I need the soap and a paper towel. We're gonna do a live demo for all of you. And then I'm gonna let you guys go night night. You ready to go night night? I'm ready to go night night. Watch what ankle. Or angle. It's a little, a little tipsy. Thank you. Thank you. 
This is like gold right here. Not the soap, but the paper towel. Put my finger down. She over there just sipping it. Um, I'm great. Locked in the house. Me too. I kind of enjoy being in the house. I'm hoping tomorrow we can kind of do a little more baking and cooking. Like I've been watching a whole bunch of these shows. <laughs> Nyla loves these shows that the I watch. British baking show. The Great British Baking Show is a phenomenal show. Along with all of you that are broadcasting cooking on live streaming. I am enamored by it. At some point I will be fantastic as well with edible food but for the skin food we got it one is better than none right okay so this is the foaming liquid soap um my cousin asks is it a body soap it could be if i made it a little bit thicker and i put it in a body wash jar but i intentionally made this a little bit thinner so that i could use it as a foaming soap so what we do you just squirt it out two or three pumps maybe even four however many you want and it foams up on your hands beautifully you guys see that <gasps> and then what you do is you rub it in it goes on really really creamy i want you guys to see that it goes on and it smells amazing um and then what you do if we had running water that would be a little bit better you rub very well and you end up with a gorgeous gorgeous leather that is very soft on the skin. Oh, it just feels nice. It's like rubbing butter on your hands, but it cleans it very well. When you're washing your hands, be sure to wash in between your fingers, under your nails, and around your wrist. And we talked about how soap cleans last night, but if you missed that, soap has a water-loving end, as well as an oil loving in that oil loving in is what connects to the dirt on your skin and then the water is what washes it away so that is how soap is able to actually clean your hands your body or wherever you use it and then you just rinse her off and you got clean hands i think i tried to count how many times i wash my hands today i normally I'm not a hand washer crazy, really. But I have become very, very cognizant of making sure that I wash my hands, like even filling up at the gas station, touching door handles, and all of that. So I guess that's one bright side. We're able to um, be a little more conscious about our hand hygiene. And so... I am Zakia Ringgold. I have absolutely positively enjoyed this broadcast. If you have any questions for me whatsoever, you can send me a message. I just got in. This is, it's like washing hands with soap. Yes, Shem, Shemuel. I like your name, Shemuel. How do you phonetically say that? Shemuel. Is that Shemuel? Like Samuel, but Shemuel? I like your name. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So I'm Zakia Ringgold. If you have questions, you can um, message me directly on Facebook. I am Live Soap School on there or Natural Soap by Zakia. Also, of course, head over to the website, which is livesoapschool.com. And you can subscribe to the podcast. You can read the blog, get free tutorials and all of that. Make sure you reach out to me tomorrow. Are you at home? now no you can't be at work i'll call you tonight yes shemuel i love your like that is i've never heard that name before but when i read it it was it it came up marlene you're still here you still owe me a phone call but i'm not gonna say nothing still owe me a phone call so i'm zakia ringo guys i hope you all have a fantastic night until next time i'm going to bed bye guys mm -hmm.